Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty as we kick off conference play here as we have joined the West Coast Conference here in season number two off of invitation. Now, some good news going into conference play. Baz Hellcott was injured. He is now back, so we get our man in the middle back. We lose another guy. Joseph Fratley is going to be out with a toe sprain. Now, this is like a two-week injury, but how? like I've seen with Baz Hellcott, he was supposed to be out maybe like three weeks. He ended up being like five weeks. So you never know how long these injuries could last. So Contavian Morgan will step up in his role as kind of a backup and be asserted into the starting lineup. Now, before hopping into this matchup, we go up against San Diego, and they are very good. We're going up against a few good teams here to start our conference play. I mean, this is a better conference than our last conference, so we will have our, have our work cut out here in this conference. To be honest, at least two years, it's going to be tough. So we have these tough teams. Gonzaga's one, Pepperdine's another, and now San Diego in our first matchup. So let's get into this action as we will lose the tip-off, and San Diego starts out with possession so san diego starts out with possession here is a jump shot missed already on the first one and rebounded by hellcott welcome back to the lineup here's contavian morgan trying to get past a defender but ripped and here is carter bushy in transition and the center lays it up he is a true freshman bushy is and he starts it out two nothing here for san diego here is Kentavian Morgan with an open three. His first bucket as a starter, and he gives us the lead early on. So now in a three to four game, here's Joyner at the top, getting a pick this time by Hellcott, working it back inside to him, and he throws it down under the hoop. That is a Shaq-esque dunk right there. Welcome back, Baz Hellcott. I've definitely missed him in the middle, and we get a couple of easy plays for him already, but look at this, driving inside. He's already got two fouls, so he'll have to come out the game. Remember, it's five fouls in college. So now a six to five game. Here is Jack DiRoberto at the top, and he gets the and one, driving in the lane. And he gets the foul that time. Actually, that did not go in. I'm mistaken on that one. So DiRoberto goes to the line. He hits the first, and the second shot is off the mark as Buster Howard gets the rebound. So Howard checks in for the two foul Hellcott as here's Jet putting on a couple of moves and stepping back and the lefty hits a three off the bench. And it's now an eight to seven game. So DiRoberto at point guard, he does lead their team in assists and he hits the jump shot in the lane. And that does give uh, the team San Diego the early lead here. But here's Jet off of a screen and hitting another three, two for two from three point land off the bench. And now we get it to an 11 up game here with eight to go here in the first half. Working it inside over Takahashi, and that's going to be good. And uh, San Diego, you can already see, they have kind of a balanced type of team this time as they drive to the lane and Zion Storm gets called for the foul. The two line for two shots here. San Diego hits the first, and the second shot is going to be good. And let's see if we can put together a couple of good possessions here. Five minutes left here in the first half. Getting a pick this time. Joyner passes out to Contavian Morgan. Corner three. That's our favorite shot. I got to say, like, when we get that play right there, that pick and roll to a corner three, it definitely is a momentum shifter because we can hit those shots in bunches. So now in an 18-14 game here in San Diego. Jump shot. Bushy. He hits it. He's got eight points early on. So now a four-point game here, 4.20 to go. Here's another pass inside to Bushy, and it is going to be double digits for him as he passes it up the court, and look at that pass. I'm not sure what Bumaye was doing on that one, but it ends up being a turnover. So let's see if San Diego can capitalize this time. A move and driving to the lane in a foul by Takahashi off the bench as now they go to the line this time for two shots. The first one is good. You could already see a lot of fouls here in the first half. San Diego is kind of a dribble drive type of team, type of offense, and they will knock that down, make it an eight point game here 
But now with three to go, Storm checks back in. Here's a deep three, missed. Rebounded by uh, San Diego as they push it up the floor. Another easy layup, and it's good. San Diego takes the nine point lead as they stretch it to 10 here with a minute and a half to go. So let's see if we can come up with a stop this time. Passing it inside, another foul. This time it's the freshman IT Thomas who gets called. And uh, that is going to bring it to an 11 point lead here for San Diego, a minute to go. Working it around the perimeter. This time jump shot, good. And that is another hit shot by San Diego. You can already see they are hot here in the first half. Our offense can't do anything. It's now 34-21, driving inside, a missed shot, layup. And that is a rebound by Di Roberto, laid up and in, seven seconds left. And now we push it up the court, 15, down 15, two seconds left, jump shot is good. Joyner at least hits a buzzer beater at the end of the first half, giving us a little bit of momentum, trimming this lead down to 12. But man, San Diego dominated us on the offensive end, drawing fouls, and that's how that first half went. We're down by 12. So now we start the second half here. Let's see if our offense can get us back in this game. We come up with a couple of good defensive possessions without you know, committing any fouls. We get a pick and roll this time, pass inside to Bamaye. And he gets going, the senior forward, as he gets his first couple buckets of the game. So here is Storm, another pick and roll. This time getting to the lane and another layup. I love what Storm does with that pick and roll, that high pick and roll. And now we call for it again, down by 10. Storm to the lane again, and it's an and one in traffic. There we go, Zion Storm getting us going. That's what we need because he is our leading scorer with about 17 points per game. So now down by six, deep three by Storm, off the mark, rebounded by Hellcott. That's what we missed when he was absent. Look at Morgan, look at that move. Getting to the lane, and with the contact, he gets it to go. We're down by just six now. 34 to 40, jump shot, and they do hit that one. That is Dominguez, who actually leads them in scoring with about 18 points per game. And now here we are on offense, down by eight. Corner jump shot, this time it's Dalton Jett. He hits it and brings it down to a five point lead here. 10 to go. Another corner pass this time. Jet using the jab step and creating some separation. It's now a two point game. Let's see if we can come up with a nice possession on defense. A fadeaway jump shot missed by Di Roberto. Passing way up the court. Storm gets it. Pops. It's good. In transition. It's now a one point lead here for Long Beach. We come all the way back. And now. 10 minutes to go here in the second half, but look at them, they are driving to the lane. They can stop you in a hurry with that momentum. And now they're up by one. So here is Storm set up the offense, passing around, Dalton Jett in the corner, he doesn't miss that shot. Back to a two point lead here for Long Beach. So eight minutes to go now, here is Storm getting trapped, pass inside, but Maye, he gets it to go. And now it's a four point lead here, 50 to 46. So now here we are on the offense. This time they're running a 3-2 zone, but leaving Contavian Morgan open. And that one is good. It's now a seven point game. But San Diego does start to crawl back this time. That's a jump shot by Dominguez. He's starting to get going on offense. Is now 55 to 51, only a four point lead. Storm working it around, but Maye in the corner, it's good. And now it's back to a seven point lead here with five to go. But San Diego will not go away lightly. This time is Dominguez inside. He gets the and one on that one. And now it's to a two point game. Another foul called. And this time they're gonna go to the line with a chance to tie this game up. It's their leading scorer, Dominguez. You knew he would get going at some point in this one as he hits the first jump, hits the first free throw, I should say. The second shot is good. It's a tie ball game here, 58-58, three to go. So let's use this high pick and roll once again. Here's Storm driving the lane this time, and he gets the foul on Dominguez as he goes to the line for two shots. So the sophomore point guard, his first shot at the line is going to be good. It is now a one-point lead. The second shot is off, 
And rebounded by Carter Bush. She is now, here they are with possession, down by one. Two and a half to go, working it around, working it inside. And they get another foul call. This time on Takahashi as they go to the free throw line. This time this is Corey Apple, the true freshman. And he hits the first time this game up, two and a half to go. Second shot, off the mark, rebounded, Joyner. He pushes it up and sets up the offense. So Joyner now on the next possession, hits a corner three. It's now a three-point game now, down to a minute to go. So San Diego with possession. That's a deflection off the pass inside. Storm running the other way. He passes to an open jet. It's a three and good. Now a five point lead. What a clutch shot that time by Dalton Jet. And now a five point lead here. 34 seconds left. Jump shot. That's Corey Apple. He hits it. And now we have three a three point lead. Getting it into Joiner. They will foul us. Sergio Dominguez gets his fourth foul of the game. And they put us on the line, but it's Joiner, our best free throw shooter. And he knocks that one down on the one and one. The second shot of this one and one looks like it's going to be good. And it is. 67 62. 12 seconds left. They're just jacking one up this time. And it's off the mark. We get the rebound. Their best player fouls out Sergio Dominguez. And that is going to be the game. We end up winning this one by three. And what a clutch comeback here for your Long Beach State 49ers. Zion Storm was player of the game. He had 13 and eight. Now, it was very, very good having Baz Hellcott back. I definitely love that, but I think we may have found something in Contavian Morgan. He had some pretty good shots from three early on, gave us some momentum. And I like him in the lineup. We're going to have to really get him more playing time as the season goes on. Spratly is obviously hurt. You don't want to lose, you know, your spot due to injury. But I like this lineup that we had in with three smaller guards, even at the forward position, having a smaller guy could be advantageous, advantageous just because, you know, we have a shooter there. I mean, that's the difference. Joseph Spratly is really, really good. He's really good at getting to the lane, getting foul calls and scoring on the inside, but his outside game isn't the best. I think that that's an area he will have to improve. And Contavia Morgan showed what the potential could be with having a wing that can shoot with his ability. It was a good win. I gotta say, we did pretty well in this one and we win our first conference game. That's a good sign going forward. So in the next matchup, we will face St. Mary's and they are pretty good. And I would say they're not like great, but they're better than us right now. Deshaun Parker averaging 16.3 and seven for St. Mary's. Jalen Ball is a senior. He is averaging 10 points. So is Calvin O'Brien. He's a senior as well, averaging 10 and eight. And you can just see some of their other guys, Rylan Fount, I think it's Fontaine. I don't wanna say Fountain, I think it's Fontaine. He's averaging nine points. And it's just a well-rounded team here. Everybody gets on the court. Looks like they have a pretty deep rotation here. So we will see what we do in kind of a NCAA game cast right now versus them. So it looks like we hop out to an early lead this time and St. Mary's quickly claims it back and takes a double digit lead. But look at us, we start to come back here, 49-49 in the second half. And it looks like we take a little bit of a lead, but St. Mary's comes back. And I like this scenario here. Four and a half to go, 64-64. Let's hop into this matchup, see if we can close out this game. So here's Fontaine with the ball, working it around the perimeter. This time they get it inside, jump shot missed. And we do get the rebound by the senior, Derek Delmatrice Bomaye, as you push it up the floor, waiting for him. High pick and roll, Storm loves this. Here he drives to the lane, gets a little bit of a foul call, almost goes in. Ryland Fontaine on the foul that time as that puts Zion Storm on the line. He hits the first of two. Second shot on the way. And it's off the front rim, rebounded by St. Mary's. And now it's still a 65-64 game. But here is Storm on the next possession. He hits a three, extending this lead to four points. So now three minutes left. Rebounded by Bamaye. He has improved rebound the ball. I definitely like what I see from him. Pass out to Morgan. He shoots the three and it's good. I just said the advantage of having Morgan at the three is that 
you do have some open shots that you can take with him that they would leave open Spratly quite a bit, but Morgan will knock those down. So St. Mary's does answer now. We're under a minute left here in this game. High pick and roll. Storm tries to get to the lane. He passes it inside. It's deflected and saved. And they're going to call that out of bounds. Still Long Beach ball. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Storm, mid-range. He misses it. Rebounded by St. Mary's. They call the timeout. Down by three with 22 to go. So they inbounded this time to Fontaine, working it up. And look at this. They keep working it back and forth this time. What are they doing? They just take the shot. And it's off the mark. Rebounded by Contavian Morgan. That was a pretty funny little possession that time. Passing it back and forth. And it's off. And they do foul as Fontaine does. He has four fouls here in the last four minutes. And they put Storm on the line for a one and one. This one's up. And it bounces around and rebounded. It's off, and it's now still a three-point game here. Now 6.1 to go. Fontaine pushes it up the court. Back out. This time, deep three is good. And St. Mary's ties it up at 71 apiece. 1.2 to go. So one second left here in this game. We're just going to throw it up and throw up a shot. Storm from three. It's going to be off. But a foul on Fontaine. You've got to be kidding me. Let's look at that again. It looks like Storm got it off. But it wasn't even any contact, really. And the refs call the foul. So we go to the line for three shots. The first shot is off the mark. And all Storm has to do is hit one. There's .1 seconds left. The second shot is good. It's now a one-point game. A point one is not enough time to get any shot off. So we probably have this one in the bag. The third shot is good. Two-point lead here. Point one to go. They don't get a shot off. And that is how this one ends. Long Beach prevails here once again. And wow, what an ending to that one. A questionable foul call at the end of the game. But we get bailed out and get the two-point victory on the road. A very good conference win versus a very good St. Mary's team, to be honest. 73 to 71, Baz Hellcott had 12 and 11, but Maye had 25 points in this game. And then Zion Storm obviously had that game winner at the end, I guess the game-winning free throws, I should say, 13 and 13 for him. On their side, Deshaun Parker had 25 and 12. Very, very good game from him. Uh, Rylan Fontaine had 13 and 7. Off the bench, Jalen Ball, the senior, had 14 points. But this was a very good win here for Long Beach State. So now we go into our toughest matchup, Gonzaga. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna game cast this one. Remember, I do not play every single game each year. I do play each team at least once, and then I at least once, and then I game cast the other, just so that I can get through the season quickly and I like this uh feature in this game you can sim it and then hop in when you want and we end up simming this one and Gonzaga just absolutely puts it on us 53 rebounds to 14 I mean how are you gonna win a game when you're out rebounding like that and just looking at them I mean look at this McCann had 28 points they are very good <laughs> I mean we're gonna have to face them again I'm excited for that game we'll see how that one will go then the next game, we play the second best team, and it does not start well. We are down by 40 in the first half, and they end up just putting it on us. Back-to-back 100-point -back games here for our opposing, our opponents, I should say. And look at this. I mean, 106 to 47. It wasn't even close. And you're never going to win a game when Zion Storm has zero points. That is incredible. 34 minutes, zero points. So next game, we go up against Santa Clara. And like I said, I'm going to play each team once and game cast each team. So not every game will be played in this episode. I will kind of have this as the format. And here we are up by uh, double digits here. Ten points to be exact. Four minutes left. Let's see if we can jump in here and finish this game off. So four minutes left. We're actually with a 12-point lead now. Here's Contavian Morgan this time with the ball, getting the pick, creating some separation, trying to get to the hoop this time. He does. He puts on a move, and he doesn't go to the hoop. He kind of dishes it out. Joiner corner three. 
It's good. Now a 15 point lead here. Three to go. Rebound on the free throw. This time Storm steps back. Creates some room. Passes it out. But Maye, good. 15 point lead here. And now there's two to go. Another good defensive possession this time. It's a steal. We run in transition. Up to Storm. A dunk in transition. The biggest lead of the game. Up to 17. And now 90 to 75. Another pass out to the corner. That time it's Deshaun Ward. The true freshman that time. He's not a shooter. But Joyner gets it back at the top. And it's a deep three. It's now an 18 point lead. And that one seals it up. That's a nice way to end this episode. End it with the win. How about that? And we win versus Santa Clara. We go on a little run there at the end of that game. And that's what I'm talking about. I love the shooting of this team, especially with Katavian Morgan in the lineup now. And that's not saying that Spratly isn't a great player, but he just adds something different. He definitely gives us a better defensive look. And also, if we need an option to get to the hoop, he's definitely the one handling the ball because Zion Storm is 5'10". The thing about him getting to the lane is that you're going to have a lot of blocked shots. That's just the side effect of having a 5'10 point guard who can get to the lane. He has excellent speed, so I definitely use that. But Spratly is definitely our best inside dribble drive scorer. And I definitely value that quite a bit as he returns from injury probably next episode sometime. So we end this episode at 8 and 12. So we improve in the win column for sure. But now we have about nine or so games left on the schedule. We're 3 and 2 in conference. But can we continue this winning, these winning ways? Especially since the next episode we will go up against Gonzaga once again. And we will face them in a full game. So I am excited for that one. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. I love what I see from this Long Beach State team, man. We're pretty good. 8-12 and 12 is not bad, especially with our non-conference schedule the way it was. So let's see what we do next episode. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter, though. Yeah. And it don't even matter though, nope, hey, it don't even matter.